What you're seeing here is the Infinity Army printouts for the Yujing faction for this particular bat rep shows 124 points, which meets our 125 point requirement, and two special weapon costs. We'll go ahead and zoom in on that real quick. You'll note at the beginning of at the top of the, the first page that this is a Yujing faction army list with 124 points, two special weapon costs. Checked okay with the Infinity Army Builder software. The first part of the sheet shows each one of the individual models as they are in your army list, and they have a nice section that indicates all the information you need to know about weapons that they're carrying, all on in just this printout. The guys at the Devil Team did a fantastic job with making the software. Let's take a look a little bit more as to what each model does. In any army list, the first thing you're going to make sure that you have is a lieutenant. And only certain models can be lieutenants based on whether or not you're playing a particular faction or, your particular, or a particular sectorial. In this army list, we have a Zanshi lieutenant. And we have two more Zanshis that are equipped identically so we can kind of play a bit of a shell game and the opponent won't know exactly which model is our lieutenant. For this game, the model looking down the barrel of his gun is going to be the lieutenant for this army list. Don't tell the Ariadna player. Let's take a look at a stat line for a particular model. When you spend an order, you can do two short skills. A movement is a short skill, so in this case, the model can move four inches and then four inches again. Some other models, all the models on this particular army all move 4-4, four, four, but uh, if you do take a look at the Ariadna list, you'll see that this isn't always the case, and sometimes you'll end up with models that can move maybe 4-2, which means for a particular order they can move 4 inches for the first short skill and only 2 inches for the second short skill. In close combat, he has a rating of 14 and a ballistic score of 11. Now there are modifiers that can affect these numbers, but generally speaking these are the numbers on a 20-sided dice with the modifiers so you're going to have to get exactly on or less than. If you roll exactly, it's considered a crit and the other person does not get to have an armor save. The next stat over is pH. It, it's the physical, how physical the model is. The place you would make a pH roll would be in performing a dodge maneuver, climbing a wall, jumping over a chasm, these kinds of things. Next thing over is your willpower. Your lieutenant's willpower is very important because at the beginning of the game, there is a face-to-face -face willpower roll between lieutenants to determine who goes first and who deploys first. So that can be very important to your strategies. Another thing willpower might impact is morale. So for instance, if you're hit with a, a long-range weapon but you're you have an armor save so you didn't you didn't get affected do you run away the next two values over from willpower is your armor and your biotechnical shield these are two different types of defenses that can be used to determine what die roll you need to make in order to not take a wound from either a standard ballistic or close combat round or in a BTS role might be for not taking any sort of damage from a, an EM pulse or a viral weapon. The last stat on this list is wounds, so this is the number of the wounds the model can take. When wounds go to zero, the model is unconscious, can be revived with a, a doctor or a person with a med kit. If it goes into negative values though, this model is considered dead. When you're making an army list, you get one special weapon cost for every 50 points that your army list has. So, so in a 125 point army list, you would technically have 2.5 special weapons points to, to lay out. In our example, we're using one special weapon point to make a Zanshi into a Zanshi lieutenant. We're using our other special weapon cost to make the Celestial Guard have a Spitfire weapon. Before we go any farther on the stat line, the other thing that this sheet shows you is how your groups are broken up. You can have no more than 10 models that provide orders of either regular or irregular type in a group. So in 125 points, it's you're really never going to get more than 10 models in 125 points, but we can see right away that we get six regular orders. And that's the first thing that is shown 
on a particular model underneath their stat line is whether or not the order that that model produces is a regular or an irregular order. Irregular orders must be spent on the model that provides the irregular order. Models that are identified as regular mean that their order is added to the pool where the lieutenant can divvy up the orders however they see fit. So if they wanted to give everyone one order, that's fine. If they wanted to give all the orders to a particular model during a turn, that's okay as well. For the next stat over, there's three different values that could be there. Not impetuous, impetuous, or frenzy. Impetuous means that before you do any orders, that model is given an impetuous order, and it's a free order, but the first thing that must happen in that impetuous order is they must move directly towards the nearest enemy. And this can often cause problems as in Infinity, your opponents can react to your movement. So if in that movement he comes in the line of fire of an opposing model, they can shoot back at him. Not impetuous means that they, do, they don't have that rule. Frenzy is a special condition where if a model kills another model, they move from frenzy to impetuous. This last stat, cube, we're not going to worry about for this 125 point tutorial. And we identify that this model is a lieutenant. Underneath that, you'll see the weapons that this model is carrying. And again, and again, at the end of the army list, there is a bunch of stats that determine for that particular weapon what the ranges are, the modifiers. So for instance, our Zanshi lieutenant is carrying a combi rifle. If we look at the stat line for a combi rifle, from 0 to 8 inches, they get a plus 3 to their modifier for their BS. 18 or 8 to 16 is still plus 3. 16 to 24 to minus 3. 24 to 48 it's a minus 6. So you can see how distances really impact how well you can fire upon opponent. The next number over is the damage. This provides a damage of 13. How that is handled is covered in the the section on rolls. Burst 3 means that during your active phase, you can fire this weapon three times. During an ARO, it is always only one shot back unless you have special considering modifiers. Ammunition is N, meaning normal. It does not have any sort of template that it works with. EM, yes, means that if this model is hit with an EM weapon. The combi rifle can be knocked out. And CC no means that you can't use the combi rifle in close combat. So again, as we're looking at the Zanshi Lieutenant, he can't use the combi rifle for close combat, but this is where the pistol and knife comes into play. The Zanshis are really low point cost models that provide additional regular orders for this list and allows the Yujing player to hide the Lieutenant. The next model down for the, from the Zhang is the Shangji Invincible, who again has a 4-4 movement, better close combat prowess, higher ballistic skill rating, higher pH, same willpower, but this is where the, you, you really note that it's a heavy infantry, 4 armor, minus 6 BTS, and BTS is the only value where you want a lower number, so a greater negative value and that actually provides better shielding for the model against viral and EM type weaponry or even being hacked and has two wounds now if we look at his you know he the shang -Gi is also regular and not impetuous with a combi rifle and light flamethrower pistol and a shot close combat weapon Shock weaponry, and this can be both a close com in close combat as well as a type of ammunition for ballistic weapons, impacts those models with only one wound, and instead of going to the various stages of unconscious and then dead, it takes them directly to dead. If a model has zero wounds left, it's unconscious. If it has a negative, if it has a negative wound count, it's dead. And in this case, the shang -Gi uses a, his shock close combat weapon, against, for instance, one of the Zhang Zhi's, which only has one wound, the model passes directly to dead instead of going to an unconscious state. 
The last two models for the Yu Jing army are the Dumaru Butai and the Celestial Guard. The Dumaru provides a regular order, but he is frenzy instead of not impetuous, which means if the Dumaru Butai ends up defeating an Ariadna model, he then goes straight into being impetuous. The Dumaru Butai also has martial arts level 2. This gives him some additional bonuses, uh, and if we see it in the game, we'll explain exactly how those bonuses play out, as well as Berserk which allows him to add plus 9 to his close combat skill of already a 19. The last model of Celestial Guard is a light infantry model who actually has a little bit of BTS shielding and is equipped with a Spitfire which is a closer range lighter heavy machine gun um, for lack of a better explanation. Let's take a quick moment now to take a closer look at what the models look like so you might be able to pick them out a little bit better during the game. Again, these are the Zan Shis with the guy looking down the barrel of his gun and pointing up a little bit more being the Lieutenant, the Shang-Chi Invincible, the Dumaru Butai, and the Celestial Gar with Spitfire.